morning and welcome to today's edition of Crash Course. Here we are over the Easter weekend again and uh, just like every other festive season, road safety becomes an issue. People discuss it, people talk about it, uh, the media follows the latest and greatest crashes and fatalities and the government makes all these promises about how they're going to have zero tolerance etc. But the fact is that we need to consider road safety in a global context rather than just during you know specific seasons. Uh, one of the questions I'm often asked, probably most out of everything I'm ever asked in my industry, is what is the greatest or the most likely cause of accidents or collisions? I always get asked this and then you hear statistics like 90% of crashes are involve alcohol and 80% of crashes involved a road traffic offense or unroadworthiness. One of the, you know, and, so, and then it's cell phone use. And the fact is, I think you're getting the point. It's a seasonal thing. Every year we pick a topic and then we start deciding that this particular one topic is the uh, so called silver bullet of cause. Well, in my personal experience, in thousands of cases, most, if not more than half, uh, at scene directly after the crash where everybody is still emotional, where everybody is still present, where people are still involved and where people often make mistakes and admit things they probably shouldn't. I've come to a different conclusion. In my opinion, the cause of collisions or the primary or the biggest cause of crashes in South Africa and, and probably in the world, but let's stick to South Africa, is actually intentional human action. Uh, people tend to do things on purpose. No one accidentally overtakes in the face of oncoming traffic. Nobody accidentally crosses over a solid or even a double barrier line to overtake. Over the Easter weekend a video made the rounds again where somebody filmed hundreds of cars crossing over a double solid barrier line on one of our national roads, the N1 North Polokwane and then driving on the wrong side of the road in the face of oncoming traffic, forcing those people to drive on the far outside lane. Now that's not accidental, nor is it something that happens to the driver that does it. It's not like he can say, oh well, my tire suddenly burst. Then uh, things like speeding. You know how I feel about speeding. I don't necessarily think that speed kills, and I disagree that this is another silver bullet, but the fact is that nobody accidentally drives 200. My Jaguar that I own can drive 200, but I can assure you I've never sat in the parking lot waiting and then the car just suddenly goes at 200. Whenever it wants to go 200, it's probably because something I've done and it's invariably the pushing of the little pedal on the ground. So the takeaway from today and uh, the, the, the essence of this crash course is to tell you how to prevent these kinds of collisions and it's very simple. It's about your decisions. You must decide to stick to speed limits. You must decide to stay in your lane. You must decide to look carefully and properly to see if there's any danger. You must decide that you must check your tires. You must decide not to overload your vehicle. You must decide to have the people in your car wear seat belts. At the end of the day, there are things other people can do that can lead to collisions that you are involved in that are definitely not your fault. But if somebody crosses over a barrier line or over a line into your lane of traffic and there is a shoulder for you to move over and allow him to pass, Musa, breathe comfortably, move over, let the guy go. He's wrong, you're right, you're alive, so is he. It's about courtesy, it's about personal responsibility and it's about staying safe and bringing down the number of deaths on road in South Africa. Thanks and all of the best for your Easter weekend and happy Easter for them too.